the Blockchain Innovation Conference on June the 7th in Utrecht at Rabobank. Be there. Good afternoon. My name is Vincent Everett, Strength Watcher, and this is the news of the week. The Blockchain Conference. The speakers are ready. Take a look. It's completely packed. And I do want to apologize. The program is so packed. We have so many brilliant speakers, which you can meet and talk in the program also off-site. Um, today I'm going to announce that Alex Sharon is from the task force from the blockchain from the Indian government, which did a lot of change. They went a big step towards uh, digital money. They gave everybody a digital identity, and now they are choosing blockchain, and they're doing millions of people in all kinds of projects. He's going to come and talk about it. And we have Rachel from the World Bank, from the Technology Innovation Blockchain Lab, who's showing a lot of examples all over the world. And yeah, I cannot talk about all the speakers because there are way too many. I mean, the Netherlands Bank, we have Gardner, we have all kinds of practical examples. All the theme, of course, is from POC to production. We have Mr. Identity from, uh, from Microsoft. We have Ma Mark from Bitfury, who is next to mining also as a big blockchain software program. Um, we have Adnan Hassan, who used to work at the World Bank, who has an idea about a World Bank for uh, lots of, for the other 50% of the, of the people. We have Wakar Zakai, who has millions of followers from Pakistan, who is basically using blockchain for good, which we have a lot of examples about. We have on the energy sector, we have, we just have so many brilliant people who all come with cases. So come to the blockchain conference on June the 7th. It will, it will be fun. Now, one of the things we're doing is about nine companies, ICOs from the Netherlands, and we're selecting the best one. There's a committee who's, uh, who's basically figuring out if all these companies have a decent plan, a decent team, already have software development, and we have Entitle, who's on the gaming industry, billions of industry. There's an uh, interview of Peter, the CEO. We have... Uh, uh, VisaCoin, who is working on um, uh, to, to create a whole payment system for festivals, huge live industry to make that really easy. We have um, Trustier, who is working on the core, what we want to do on the blockchain economy. Imagine a world of trust. They are basically making sure that trust goes from one person to the other. And we have eye casting to find the right talent. So those are the first four. There's uh, five more coming, but you can see that next week. So it's going to be a fantastic conference and also the, the interesting thing is we have all these people they come and they may be on stage we can give them 15 minutes sometimes 20 and we don't have that enough time for them but what we also do we have decentralized presentations so when you when the speaker is done uh, there is little Bluetooth headsets and 25 people can go into debate with that person they can uh, ask questions they can talk and they can uh, you know, outside Outside the, the, the room, they can talk with the speaker. So it's not like two or three people can have a talk with the speaker, but afterwards they can talk for half an hour with the speaker, ask questions, go in debate. Everybody can listen to each other. They can have decentralized presentations. So that's also new from the conference. June the 7th, be there. This week also, I went to the um, Interclean 2018, and that is in, uh, something completely different. There was no blockchain to be found. But what's really interesting, it's 30,000 people who look for professional cleaning. And robots were very interesting. And I thought that also was interesting that China was there. And I interviewed uh, a brilliant Chinese entrepreneur, great marketing, great design. Uh, of course, fantastic prices, because when the Germans were asking uh, 30,000, they asked 10,000. So there's a lot of robots, cleaning robots and autonomy, how they're working. The, the best uh, award, best innovation award went to Kerger. Huge German company, they sell for 20,000 autonomous. You see that the look and feel is much more German, so you can see that. Uh, and I have a lot of different applications. This was really interesting. We had, I found two entrepreneurs who have a fantastic um, little cleaning uh, concept, which you can take as a traveler and clean your clothes with it, so it's chemical. But these were from Saudi Arabia, and I talked to them about what's happening in Saudi Arabia, how is the country changing. And why are they there? So that's really interesting. And then I have to switch to Dutch. Bij Simak Electronics was een klantendag. En um, daar was André Kuipers. Het was echt gewoon een fantastische presentatie zoals hij altijd geeft. Maar mijn uh, dochter van negen, morgenjarig, en die vroeg een handtekening. En die vroeg waarom ben je astronaut geworden en vertelde ons wat meer over. Dus ik heb hem hier in negen minuten alle vragen gesteld die mijn dochter vroeg, maar ook alle 
gasten van CIMAC over hoe de technologie eigenlijk verandert. Waarom is het daar zo ouderwets? En gebruikt Elon Musk, heeft hij een andere manier van innoveren? En wat denkt hij, hoe lang het gaat voordat we naar Mars gaan? En wat het nou eigenlijk voor een invloed heeft op technologie op aarde? Nou, altijd een ontzettend leuke vent om mee te praten. Een leuk interview. En ik praat ook nog eventjes over het crypto-debat in de Tweede Kamer. Dus je hebt Jan... Uh, Paternotte, die ook zeg maar, komt spreken bij het uh, Big 18, die uh, het Blockchain Innovation Conference uh, in 2018, op 7 juni, en die heeft een heel verhaal gehouden over wat eigenlijk de Nederlandse regering zou moeten doen in het parool. En daar was een, uh, een debat over uh, in de Tweede Kamer, en in de Radio 1 hebben we daar even over nagepraat. En ik vond het in ieder geval interessant om te zien wat de Tweede Kamerleden nu weten van crypto, en wat ze weten van blockchain. En ze zeggen allemaal... Ja, de standaard dingen, dat blockchain fantastisch is en dat crypto eigenlijk uh, de mensen beschermd moet worden tegen crypto en tegen dat, ze, dat ze de investeringen eigenlijk gewoon gevaarlijk zijn en dat de Nederlandse bank moet ingrijpen, de AFM. Nou, daar ging het debat over, maar de hoeveelheid kennis bij de Kamerleden was een stuk vooruit gegaan in het afgelopen jaar dankzij een aantal hoorzittingen. Dat is het voor deze week. Ik wens jullie allemaal heel veel plezier met feestdagen. En uh, ja, ik hoop jullie natuurlijk allemaal op 7 juni op een of andere manier te zien bij de Blockchain Innovation Conference.